guys, it's Legomatic9, and today I'm doing the first video of a custom LEGO minifigure series that just has a bunch of just random kind of various minifigures in it. I know I talked about this in my, uh, I think I'm in my previous video or one video back. Can't really remember, I think it was in some update video, but you guys said you'd like to see just some random minifigures all compiled into one video rather than separate videos for each one. And I agree with that because I don't think I need to do separate videos in each one of these minifigures. But uh, this video is kind of more so inspired by the Moose Figs. He does a various custom LEGO minifigure series, so hopefully he doesn't get too mad that I'm subtly ripping him off on that, but he also did totally copy my uh, my collection update or my room update series, but I don't have a problem with that if he doesn't have a problem with this. So, love you, Dylan. Anyway, I've got three custom LEGO minifigures to show you guys. So let's go ahead and jump right into this. Morpheus, Dorpheus, Morpheus, go eat some Warruses, Orifices, Porridges. Morpheus, Morpheus, go get to the buffet and Morrises. Corpheus, corpses, Worcester sauce. Go into your orifices. Red pill, blue pill, Morpheus, Warruses. Sea shells by the sea, Sorpheus. We're going to start off with the figure that is completely unrelated from the other two. This is Hannibal Burris from the Eric Andre show, specifically in his Morpheus outfit. Now, I wouldn't have made this figure if it wasn't for the other customizers at Brick Fair. We all wanted to do a collaboration of sorts, and we all agreed upon the Eric Andre show. If you guys are not familiar with that show, go ahead and just look up some co compilations. There's definitely some out there of just random clips and stuff from the show. I'd definitely recommend that. But this is Hannibal in his Morpheus disguise. Pretty simple figure. If you guys are interested in seeing all of the other Eric Andre figures, I'll go ahead and just post that right here. It's over on Kaiju Dan's Instagram if you guys are interested in seeing them all there. Eric Andre actually did see all these and comments on the post, so I thought that was pretty cool. But anyway, onto the figure. He is pretty simple. He just has a E-Tape trench coat that was made using my uh, E-Tape tutorial. If you guys are interested in that, go ahead and watch that. Uh, it's the same principle there, but just for a trench coat. Underneath that trench coat, uh, there's an E-Tape vest. And then the, the vest and the legs were painted in like a metallic purple. He's got a silver tie, some black buttons, some dark gray for the collar, a uh, black belt with a silver buckle, and then he also has the black shoes. The face was completely painted by me from scratch, so I'm really happy with that. Uh, I'm not really the best at painting mouths, but I was pretty happy with this one because it was just some ridiculous expression. But uh, yeah, I thought that turned out pretty good. And then the accessory is just a bottle for his bottle of 40 that he drinks in his death basket in the actual show. Morpheus drinking a 40 in a death basket. Arr. So that is pretty much it for Hannibal Burris from the Eric Andre show. So over the summer, I branched out from my usual classic rock genre of music and listened to a little more hip hop and rap. I've always been a fan of that type of music, but I haven't really gotten into it as much as I had recently. And so since I did that, I decided to make a few figures of some of my favorite artists. I'll be doing the same for some classic rock figures here coming up at the end of this year, but I have some other projects in the way before I get started on those. But anyway, here is Chance the Rapper. I want to show him first before the other figure just because I really, really love how this guy turned out. I think it's probably the best likeness I have done for any figure ever. So hopefully you guys can agree to that if you guys like Chance and know what he looks like. So we'll start off with the, the top and work our way down this time just because I want to talk about my favorite parts of this figure. That is just pretty much the, the head and the, the hat and hair combo. So the, the hat was just a Lego hat and the hair is from Crazy Bricks. And I cut that up and glued them together and then painted them up the hair in a glossy black and then the hat in more of a matte black. And then I painted on the, the three as well. Uh, the face, I think is probably the best likeness I've done uh, recently, I should say. Uh, that is on a kind of like, a, what is it? A medium dark flesh, is that what the, the tone is? A medium dark flesh head. I uh, erased everything off that face except for the eyes and then I repainted everything and I just really, really love how that turned out. So hopefully you guys can agree with that. Moving down to the torso, torso is just a white t-shirt with some wrinkles and stuff painted on. It's got the, the collar and the skin tone showing. The jacket is made out of cloth and uh, it's just a denim jacket. I uh, also used extra layers of cloth for the pockets. On the sleeves here I used e-tape for the rolled up sleeves, on that side as well as on this side. On the back here I've got this patch painted on. It's like some weird lion thing but I did a really bad job painting that so it's whatever. That's why it's on the back and I don't really want to show that. Uh, but uh, yeah, moving down to the legs, just some tan legs, and he's got his shoes painted on in white, black, and red. And uh, yeah, the one thing for Chance that I really like 
other than the actual face is the, the album here. Coloring book. I made that edit a little while ago with Sander. He did pretty much most of the editing there. I just did uh, just the overall layout of it and then he went through and did all the lighting and everything and made it look actually really good. So shout out to him. But I had this printed at Brick Fair. I had a few of these printed. So I got, what, like I got one left actually. And this is going to Sander whenever I send him something. But uh, yeah, so I had that printed by my buddy Chris over at Fig Factory. And that just turned out awesome. It's really cool to have a printed piece of one of my edits on here, or one of, I guess it's to say, me and Sanders edit on here. But it's just really cool to have, and just a really, really nice accessory for Chance. So, that is much it for Chance the Rapper. So the last figure up is Logic. Now, I made Logic because I saw him in concert back with a bunch of my friends in the end of June. And I just wanted to make a figure of him because I thought it'd be pretty simple and just to represent the good time I had at that concert. It was actually my first actual concert that I've been to. So I wanted something to, I guess, commemorate that. So I saw him in the Bobby Tarantino 2 vs. Everybody tour, so I decided to make him in his outfit that he wears on the cover of Bobby Tarantino 2. My favorite album of his is uh, The Incredible True Story, but I didn't want to make that outfit because my friend Andy already did that, so I don't want to just copy him with that. So I made him in this outfit, and it was pretty simple. Starting off with the legs, he just got his Nikes painted on there in white, blue, and some gold. Just has some jeans. Moving up to the torso, it's just a white t-shirt with some wrinkles and the collar painted on. Then he has that blue logo painted on. I still don't really know what that logo means, if it's like the Young Sinatra type thing, or I don't know, it's been appearing on the cover for a bunch of his singles, like One Day in the Return. It's on there, so I don't really know what it is, but uh, yeah, it, it's there. So painted that on there. Now on this arm, he's got some uh, some bandages or some wraps made out of E-tape that were just taped on here. And then I painted on some blood, so he has those on the cover. Uh, the head was just a Howard Wallowitz head from the Big Bang Theory, and I just removed the sideburns and then painted on the glasses and the eyebrows, and then I just painted up the hairpiece. So no cool accessory for Logic. I don't really have anything uh, cool to give him, so that is pretty much it for this figure. So let's go ahead and end off this video. All right, guys, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any other recommendations for some various custom LEGO minifigures, go ahead and leave those down in the comments. I do have a few random classic rock figures that I'd like to make in the future. I have one already made, and that'll come out in November. But other than that, I don't really have anything else planned besides uh, Revenge of the Sith and the Clone Wars. Those are my two next big projects. Uh, but those won't come out for a while. I, I'm just about to start on Revenge of the Sith, but I don't really think I'll be done with those until like sometime in October, probably. Just because I just started school, and I don't know how much time I'll really have, because I've only gone through a week and a half of classes, so I'm not really sure how much harder they will get. So I don't know how much free time I'll have. But between now and that video, I do have another series plan that I wanted to run by you guys real quick while I got, have you guys here. Uh, it is kind of like more of a like a making minifigures type series. I've been getting a lot of requests to like show how to make specific figures. And I can't really do that just because like it's hard to document and hard to like time lapse how to make a specific figure just because it takes me a while. So what I was thinking for this series, I call it making minifigures and it'd just be like a progression style video of how to make a certain group of minifigures. It wouldn't be like an in-depth tutorial, I'd just be showing you guys what I'm doing. So if you guys want to follow along, you can, but you guys don't have to. It'd just be to show you guys how I start a figure to how I finish one off. I know some other customizers do videos like that, but to be honest, I don't watch them just because like, I don't want to be influenced by them. I want to keep my own style to myself. I don't want to get influenced by uh, any of their stuff. So I don't really watch those types of videos, but I know you guys would probably like that. Uh, so if you guys are interested, let me know down in the comments. It wouldn't be like videos on one specific figure, it'd be on like a group of figures. So like for Revenge of the Sith, if I did the series for that, I would do like an episode on how to make clone troopers, or how I make clone troopers, how I make Jedi, how I make Mandalorians, etc, etc. So it'd be something like that. It wouldn't be honed in on one specific figure, it would be on a just the same group of figures, so you guys can learn how to make your own figures in that style. So, uh, yeah, that's... Pretty much it. I just want to run that idea by you guys real quick. So if you guys are interested in that, let me know down in the comments. But uh, yeah, other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys later. Mm -hmm.